Hello, it's time for Flashback, the weekly history quiz. Let's find out what's happened in history. We'll start in 1972 as Hurricane Agnes strikes the East Coast. It helps lead to modern disaster relief, including FEMA. That's the um, U.S. federal agency that oversees disaster relief, I guess. is pretty obvious. Anyway, what are we putting against that? The Nazca people start carving vast geoglyphs, monkeys, birds, and whales as big as a football field in the deserts of South America. I would say that is well before 1972, uh, millennia before uh, 1972, indeed 200 BCE. There we go. Okay. Uh, the U.S. The U.S. starts hiring Tennessee farm girls to enrich uranium. <laughs> Uh, that's amazing. They're more efficient than scientists with PhDs who can't help but overanalyze the data. I love that. That's a great fact. Um, very, very good. So that'll be in the 1940s, presumably 40s or 50s, I guess, depending on whether this was during the uh, sort of Manhattan Project period. Oh, it was 1943. Okay, well, there we go. Right. That's really good. That's a good, good bit of history. Josephine Dixon keeps getting cuts while cooking and her bandages don't stay on. Her husband, Earl, creates the Band-Aid. Um, my guess would be this would be, well, I was going to say late 19th century, but the adhesive nature makes me think probably the early 20th century. So let's try that. Either way, it would be placed here. Yes, 1920. Okay. Philip de Girard helps patent a method for canning food, a revolutionary, sorry, a revolution in food storage. Unfortunately, no one's invented the can opener. I think I've heard this this sort of funny fact before, which I guess it makes sense. You'd have to invent the can before the can opener, but it it, it does seem absurd in retrospect, um, if inevitable. Um, anyway, that I'm sure is the 19th century. So let's put it here. It, oh, early 19th century, 1810. All right. The California gold rush begins. Men abandon San Francisco for the mines, leaving the town so empty, it looks as if an epidemic strike right struck. Um, okay, so that'll be um, 1849, you know, the 49ers. Uh, let's see. Yes, here. 1848. Okay, fair enough. I guess, I guess 1849 is when everybody kind of famously came, but it really began in 1848. All right. Jimmy Carter is born. His mother, Lillian, is a nurse. So he's the first U.S. president born in a hospital. Right. When would Jimmy Carter have been born? Actually, that's a bit tricky because I could imagine it being on either side of 1920. Although, how old? If it were before 1920, that would be actually pretty implausible. No, there, there's no way. Uh, it, it must be in the 1920s. Uh, so that would put it here. Yes, 1924. Good. Okay, the Flemish, the Flemish hunting deck, one of the oldest surviving decks of cards, is made. The exact rules are unknown, but it definitely involves gambling. Uh, Flemish. Okay. Well, when do I think this? Well, okay. Well, it'll it'll have to be in between 200 BCE and 1810 for sure. When do I think it is? Maybe the 16th, 16th century, maybe 17th, maybe. 15th, right. Earlier, earlier, actually, than I thought by a bit. Okay, well, there we go. 1475. Uh, the philosopher Confucius argues that virtuous rulers must lead by example, for laws alone cannot make people just or moral. Um, well, Confu it's Confucius, so it'll be before 200 BCE, a couple hundred years before that. I'm not I'm not sure of the exact century, actually, but some, somewhere in that neighborhood, a few, few centuries before that. Yes, 500 BCE. There we go. All right. Well, there we go. How did I do? Uh, right. Okay. So the majority of people um, got at least one wrong. Let's see what it, oh, right. Okay. So most people misplaced Confucius actually. Well over half misplaced. That's, that, that's fair enough. I guess I could imagine, you know, not being sure if he was before or after 200 BCE. Um, every, essentially everybody got the Nazca people and their geoglyphs correct. It would be pretty strange not to get that one right. Uh, most people got the early playing card deck um, there, correct? Um, just about everybody got the invention of canning. And nearly a tenth of people misplaced the California gold rush. That's interesting. Again, most people got the, uh, the invention of the Band-Aid. Most people got Jimmy Carter's birth date 
nearly everybody got the uh, enriching uranium by uh, Tennessee farm girls. And so it really was Confucius. <laughs> Confucius really was the one who tripped everyone up. So that must, I mean, that would have been just the overwhelming majority of mistakes were there. All right, well, there we go. That was the week in history. Back next week with more of this. Bye for now.